Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever time you're listening to me. My name is Nababita Esheshi and I'm a report for Oberland TV. Today, I did with one Ugonge person with Sabine work. In a musician, in a songwriter, and the carry body put for real estate. Then they call him Man Festo. We did here with him today and uh, he want to tell us many things we will never know, we will never see. Welcome, sir. My pleasure. He did shy. He's not shy. Nothing like that. My pleasure. <laughs> Welcome to the show, sir. Good morning, my beautiful sister. Good Happy morning. New Year. Same to you. Mm-hmm. Same to you. And uh, to our viewers, where well, they listen to us from, wherever they hear us from, I say, you know, Happy New Year and you know, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. In fact, good night. I don't know the time they listen to us. So, <laughs> Happy New Year. This 2024 will bless. Amen. You and your family Amen. so much. Amen. Plenty, plenty of abundance. Amen. And then one like no more about you as you call yourself Manifesto. Your name is Manifestos, but where did Manifesto come from? Um, we get one friend like this Shada here. Yeah. We, and they call him Sabi Sabi friend. <laughs> it's a we give people nickname, you know? Yeah. So as we be they grow, they come. In the, they always they like to say, they add Festo to. So the first toss we go call, mm-hmm. you know, first toss, first toss, first toss like that. So, don't get what I do one day. Ah, oh, more. <laughs> man, first <festo. laughs> That's what the name just to come, like film. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, first like that. They actually gave me the name. Mm-hmm. But we call the contemplator. But I will call him manifesto. Mm-hmm. Manifesto. When I don't finally start to use the name, sing. Mm-hmm. So we can't kind of decide, okay, how it will be. But last last we just call her go say okay, no, we could just leave on for man festo. Because I know say one day from boy festo, I pick on the turn to man festo. <laughs> so we can't advance the thing we start yeah. with man festo. So you mean come. Mm. Yeah. And man as festo. the name don't stay, how you don't affect your career. In fact, tell us about your music career. We know say like everybody, in start of church. You start to the sing for church when they kick in. Mm. Uh, I think several years old, I think mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm, success mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. thing. And uh, how that manifesto don't help you for your music career? Um, initially when I start, I start from children choir. From children choir, I come metamorphosis enter agape choir. Mm. From agape choir, I come graduate enter adult choir. You see the mm. you see the stages. So and then when I did that children choir that time, I be one of these became way. The rest children they look up to, like the leader of the ch- of the children choir like, group, master, yeah. like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like children choir master kind of. Mm-hmm. So I just get this feeling, say this thing am I calling? And um, when I enter agape choir from children choir, I don't start to do write songs. Mm-hmm. Yes. So imagine small picking we just come from children choir now we don't the lead solo wow. for choir that at that age. So everybody they always look up to me. You know, my, my choir, if I don't come rehearse, I'll say, but I see something miss. Mm-hmm. But my mama be the inspiration, mm-hmm. because I've been there with my mama that time where they say, she did sing well, well with her cultural group. Wow. So all those songs where them they do, me, I go still like say, I they play football mm-hmm. or I they play with my friends. Mm-hmm. But we start at the Zwan put. No, it's because Zwan. Mm-hmm. And the longer truth for their song, because they think they carry melody. Yeah. So now so I can't listen to the mama like that, small, small. And on the first foot day, one of my mama group member, we did the band, their group that time, that choir, mm-hmm. uh, what's it called? Um, the, cultural the, troop. the cultural troop. You know, you know, come, you know, come the occasion where they go. Oh. And so they needed somebody to fill that space. So I just they suggest to my mama, say, ah, oh, this thing what I want to do. So I say, I'm if not the reals are here, I say, hey, you will play around with the reality, you mm-hmm. know. Say, make a try them. They say, make a try them. Um, as I try them, I just deliver. <laughs> I said they carry me join Congo, gotta wow. do all these things. So anyways, that's what the boom career started to build small small. So basically carry coin come carry a metal university, they do the mm. same thing for them, like that, like that. So nineteen ninety-eight, I couldn't drop my first studio album. Mm. So nineteen ninety-eight, I dropped my first studio album and we titled that album I Be No Be God. Mm. Because everything we did around me that time and they look at me like say, if no be God said, what we're not supposed to be here because at that level I don't do show for television. Mm. I don't do sh- go radio house 1998. I don't do things say BC. I don't expect some of do at that time. So mm. I actually brought pride to my family and mm. then everybody they see what thing they happened that time. So I can't title that album. I've been on the God. Mm. 
So my daddy journey starts small, mm. small, like that. And uh, we don't hear this story. I believe really say this one will inspire many people. Mm. And you don't say, mm. you don't say obviously. And uh, sometimes when we they see things, we know they imagine say they go far. Mm. Imagine how you don't get consistent over the years. And mm. now twenty twenty four we day mm. and you still they, they stand strong. Mm. We would like you know how you take feel when you say you they travel out of the country. Or even man we call and the diaspora, we do you If I the come out. So how you take feel when you say ah, you want to come out out of the shores of Nigeria? How you take feel? Like yeah, basically that time self after that school life. They try to get job now. The things not they really come the way we expect, you know. And you don't get this mama we don't really suffer follow you to make sure say, you know, if you feel come day, you know, that picking we don't feel come reach school level, come mm. go to that level, you know, coffee they take off the mama back when she need you. Mm. I feel safe for my mind, I know they fulfilled. I look around the environment, see this one will be the dream where I really get for myself, you know. Mm. So I just say okay, make I try my luck, make I try see how fit it was. So now so we come on that time. But initially when we come out for like for a few years, I don't really find my ground because of the language barrier mm -hmm. and so many other things, you know. Mm -hmm. So over time, I get focused because I'm here to tell people one thing. You see, one thing not to get dream. Another mm -hmm. thing not to believe in your dream. If you don't believe in your dream, even if you dream, say, you go become the king of one kingdom, that dream will come true because even you will get that dream, you believe in mm -hmm. your dream. So firstly, I believe in my dream, and I can't be believing how we fit actualize those dreams. So, in spite of all the ups and downs when I face when I reach Obodo Ibo, I don't lose sight of that impetuous place of pride where I come from. Mm -hmm. And I be done the talk and say, success not the come by mere wishes alone, but through hard work and dedication. A lot of people will wish to be successful, but how many are ready to be hard working and dedicated? Mm -hmm. And if you can't be hard working and dedicated and the results not come, how consistent are you to still push on for that dream? This mm -hmm. is my key factor. We keep me for this life. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't work with these five Ds, where I call my five Ds of success. If he share them. Yes, but I go borrow you these five Ds. <laughs> Make sure say now let you I tell. If you go fit keep up, day, yeah. I'm share them. No and the first D where they call them um determination. The second one, I recall him desire. The third one, I recall him dedication. The fourth one, I recall him. I think I called that fourth one that time. I think I don't forget. Uh, um, okay, now four. The fourth one, I know say with these ones, if I do all these ones, they come, I go reach destination. Mm. You get desire, you get Determination, you did dedicated, you must reach one successful destination. Mm -hmm. So when you put all these things together, you can see I'm saying even when the chips are down, you practically mm -hmm. find a way to bring yourself back again, in spite of all odds. So mm -hmm. you're gonna see I'm say life self not be bed of roses so. Because for that struggle where you they try to push, some go to push you down. Even the, the environment and the society feel even they pull you down. Then it comes out you see, say, for this country, we did so. Some people are medical doctor, some people are graduate, they still they write Okada. Not me, they are wish mm -hmm. Because the environment and the society, they try to pull them down. So some persons go come write Okada from there, you will push, still come become that thing when you get from mind. Others will just relax because of the environment. So me, I know relax, I know relent. When I go come Nigeria, when my mates go to Buga, and they use that energy where I get with the focus on my dream and my careers. Now from studio to studio, from event to event, still believing. See, I never reach where I go. The journey is just the beginning. Mm. So now these things be everything they propel me, where they push me, they go. Then make up balance, come see me. But mm. inside one land, they come repel <laughs> me to say, okay, I'm not gonna come. Do okay. This okay. You see this man, so he get lines. Trust me when I say get lines. Thank you. And this one will lead me to the next question. Okay. Why you not do comedy? Why you not do um acting? Why you not become mm -hmm. actor? Apart from why you enter real estate? Okay. Apart from music. Okay. Um, I suppose do comedy because I believe I'll be funny that time because mm. if I talk, people they easily laugh. Mm -hmm. I believe I don't even make one laugh like two or three times for years. <laughs> <I mean, laughs> the reason why I don't enter comedy is say 
I just think I'm saying, this is my space why I did so make I maintain that lane. Mm. And why I go just do my comedy to make people where really work with me, my friends and family members, they laugh. I go just focus on this music. You know, mm. you know? And I don't do some comedy skits, maybe say, if you they listen to them, you go to imagine say, ah, the same question where they ask me, so why you know add comedy during this thing you do? Mm. Uh, I, I do real estate because say, I see say that real estate thing will really give me the kind of uh, relaxation, no. But it will give me the kind of thing where the dream of the future. The money when, or... You know that kind of thing we start. <laughs> And uh, okay. that kind of thing we start. Mm-hmm. Now let you I tell. No one will tell another person. Hey, mm-hmm. Camera, they look me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so um, that money matter in June, sha. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because I mean, this type of person, you say, I like to hustle where where. Mm-hmm. I know they like that comfort place. Maybe say, you will just feel like say you don't. I they like push. Mm-hmm. So I don't feel just come and you. I just be like that. So I hope you say, this is my friend where I jump. Who introduced me to real estate? I said, I said, the boy, they do well. He never go where you go before. Even mm-hmm. they do well past us, some of us, we did them. Mm-hmm. So I come begin ask him question. How you take to this thing? Come tell me from Lagos. Mm-hmm. So a few years ago, I come begin to buy properties. Like, mm-hmm. buy one, buy two from there. I live for some few years. I will sell again, take the money, mm-hmm. take from, from inside, chop from inside, carry the remaining money, go inside again, go buy. Mm-hmm. Like that. I can see the business they it they grow. And mm-hmm. I can see a very good business. So my friend already give me all the things we involve. I can't push them small, small. So there are other friends maybe say they won't do properties for Nigeria. We don't yeah. want family to involve. Mm-hmm. Or friends we won't buy properties, we don't want family to involve. Because of the trust they get from me. Then go ask me to help them do them. So I can do one for a lot of people from one client to, to the other like that. So we call it push them. So side by side with my music, I can see the real estate, you know, business they go well. Mm-hmm. So I think in town, I also bush at the pass. <laughs> I also bush them for the scene. If you don't see me for studio, you see me for bush. Bush. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, mm-hmm. you don't hear um, from Manfest to himself. We know if we conclude this interview and say we know we'll talk about your uh, Manfest to unplugged when they come on the 11th of mm-hmm. January. So tell us what thing we will expect. On the show. Yeah, the trouble is, say, uh, actually, this month is too unplugged. Now, something way I bet some few years ago, and uh, the brain behind this program, now, uh, um, I just feel like each time we come and do especially us with the diaspora, we don't get our own personal events, except events of other entertainers where they go on for here. So, when I feel say, I get a lot of entertainers from abroad, where we know for that side, where they no know here, you know, and I say, I get younger artists for here too, where get talents, but people never really know them. Mm-hmm. And I constantly come say I get all these old and young people who don't do us well for this industry for here. Mm-hmm. And how I go fit and bring this three set of people together, make everybody come watch them. Those ones where you come from Obodo Ibo, those ones where you never make name but get potentials and talent. Mm-hmm. Then those ones where you don't really make name. So I said, what I'm going to use to bring this bridge, you know, as a bridge, we go bring these people together. And all these are our people we come from all over the world. And once we're there here, we come sit down for the same place, the Tori, mm-hmm. make friends, you know, make connections and all that. Mm-hmm. So I can say, how do we take drum? I need to bring in my own program. Now, what do you really make me bring in this manifesto on blog? Why don't they do for eight years now? So on the 11th of January, we will not be different to one, but mm-hmm. we don't add some spices to around. We don't add extra mangi. <laughs> we don't add extra, uh-huh. we don't add some kind of things joined. So we they try to do this thing to blend between the old and the younger generation. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're doing basically. So, so far so good. It's been awesome. The tickets, people, they pick them like saying, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So. We don't say you know go you know go disappoint. We expect some very wonderful entertainers from you know, the likes of um, Kelly Black, one of the mm-hmm. most uh, uh, I think one of the most smartest comedian we will get for this country. That mm-hmm. you know it will make you laugh. It will give you music. <laughs> it will give you everything. Kelly Black now all in one. Mm-hmm. And so we expect uh, our prolific uh, Nollywood actress. We don't do us plenty plenty of get movie for many years. And they talk of our sister, Moyo Lawal. And then we expect our brother too, whether they call Lighter. 
you know, we still go and join us singing. We expect some of our home base here to people like them sing Destiny. Uh, our own brother, we do go do go with the Cospice Vision, mm -hmm. Edo Swaga, he go come. And then we get uh, FC Awilo, we get mm -hmm. King Zena, we get Orobo Safil, mm -hmm. we get uh, Comedia NY Winter, we get mm -hmm. that opponent. You see, um, see. Boku. Boku. Mm -hmm. So all these people stay now, we bring everybody together. Mm -hmm. Who don't big? Who the middle? Who still the staff? We we'll can package all of them together. Sell out to the public. Now the aim of what will they do with that? So those also just they come up, they will get courage now to want to spice up their game. So myself with my big head, I will come come and say, what do you do? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Now so this thing Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. And thank welcome. you for the time we mm. give us today. We really, really appreciate them. So now where we call the wrap on the show where we do with the talk. Now here we go join the cutting. I, I never join the cutting though. Because I want to say a special thank you to Oberland TV. <laughs> because if you know you watch Oberland TV, you're on a long tail. Mm. This one I want on Monga TV program we do online where I know they use play. Because Oberland TV they began to you rock. Not as we this we know for that. We we'll just talk on the way the, the, the Nigerian language. I beg. They stay tuned to Overland TV. God bless you. Peace out. Peace out. Babita, say so. <laughs> <laughs>